Did you ever wonder how to create a vendor in SAP S4HANA using Fiori? Well, stay tuned, because in this video we are going to explore the whole process directly in the system. So we will start here by navigating to the application called Manage Supplier Master Data. Select this application and here we are forwarded to the start screen to manage our supplier master. We could search for existing suppliers by inserting our filter criteria and then clicking on Go, but for now we will create a new one from scratch. So we click on Create. We can decide whether we want to create a person or an organization. For now we will say Organization. Then this little pop-up window occurs and here we can first insert some general data. So for instance, a business partner number. As you know, our suppliers and also our customers are business partners in the SAP s hana context. For now we will leave it free because we want the system to generate this number automatically. And this is done via the grouping. So the business partner grouping will decide about the number. So let me just insert a grouping, this one over here. Then we must choose the business partner roles. So let's actually select it as search help. And here you can see all the different roles that could be assigned to this supplier business partner. For now, we will select here supplier financial accounting. Please be aware that later on, we can even add more roles. Then we have here a title, but this is not mandatory and we need to provide a name at least. Let's say test vendor. That's basically it. In the next column, we could select some address information and we could already assign here purchasing organization to the business partner, as well as a company code and also reconciliation account. Then we hit on OK. We are now forwarded here to the detailed screen where we can see all the information we filled before. So we have here our basic data section, then we have the roles and let's now actually also assign another role by clicking on create and we will choose this time the role called FLVN01 for the material purchasing view of our supplier. So far so good. We will check the roles in a second. For now let me also show you here the other sections, the bank account section where we could provide a bank account for this business partner by just clicking here on create. Then we provide our bank key as well as our account number. We can even navigate into the detailed screen here to fill more information if necessary. Please be aware that we could click here on derive bank from IBAN. So we could also insert IBAN directly or we can click on propose IBAN so that the IBAN is generated over here out of the account number, the bank key and bank country. We can click on apply. That's basically it. We have here an identification section where we could assign different identification types. Let's select this one actually, select the type. And here you can see many different types like the Dennis and Bradstreet number. Then you just need to write an identification number and that's basically it. Further down, we can also store some more address information if necessary. Then quite importantly, we have the text code section. So here we can assign text codes. Let's actually click on create. We need to choose a text category. Let's just say France. Then we provide the number. Then if we go down, we can also store address dependent tax numbers. And then we have here our purchasing and also company code data. Let's navigate into the purchasing view first. Here we can see the purchasing organization from the pop-up window we filled before was filled automatically. We could provide here purchasing group. Also, we could fill here the plan delivery time, for instance, as well as sales organization or even a purchasing block. Further down, we could mark the indicator for the evaluated receipt settlement and we can provide some conditions such as the order currency for this business partner, the minimum order value, so for instance at least 100 euro, as well as payment terms that should be derived when we create our purchase orders or also shipping conditions. Further down, we have the partner functions. So we could say for instance that we want a deviating order party or invoicing party we could supply some texts, the supplier regions, and also some attachments. For now, this is fine. We will say apply. Next off, further down, we have the company code data, where we also pre-filled the company code itself and the reconciliation account in the pop-up screen we have seen a couple of minutes ago. Let's navigate into this one. Over here, you can see we could also set a posting block or a deletion block. And then further down, we have the correspondence data. So the accounting clerk, this is then also printed on our forms. We could insert here the number under which we are listed at our supplier, then some telephone information. And further down, we have a finance section where we can already see the reconciliation account, but where we could also apply, for instance, our sort key. And this will then decide about how our documents will be sorted. 
We could provide some interest calculation information as well as the payment terms relevant for our invoices. So those can actually deviate from the payment terms we set a second ago in our purchasing organization data. We could supply some tolerance groups to check the values entered for this business partner, check double invoice so that the system controls whether an invoice we are currently trying to post was already posted before. Then there's also the credit memo payment terms, which could even deviate from our normal payment terms. If we scroll down again, we have here the withholding tax section where we could provide withholding tax information by clicking on create. Then we need to provide a withholding tax type and a withholding tax code at least. And if we even navigate into this section, then we could also state here the exemption number and we could also define the exemption period. For now, this is fine. Further down, we have some dunning data, but this is mostly not relevant for the supplier side. However, we could even insert here a dunning procedure to dun this particular supplier. We have a text section where we could provide texts and here we could provide attachments as well. For now, this is fine. We will click on apply. Now, last but not least, you can see here we have a section for tax categories. However, this is only relevant in certain countries. We have a text section where we could also provide texts on the general segment of this supplier, contact information, as well as classification information so that we could actually classify this supplier. You can click here on click here to assign a class and then just select the class and click on OK. However, those classes must be created beforehand. Here you can now select, for instance, that this supplier is strategically important and it is a strategic partner. Last but not least, we can add here attachments as well. So for now, this is fine. We can click here on check to check whether certain information is missing. You can see we receive error messages. The address is incomplete. We must enter a country and region. So therefore, we go back here into the address section and we provide at least a country as well as a region. Now hit on create. And we can see our vendor was created successfully. We can also take this number over here and navigate to the application called display supplier list, this one over here, insert the number and hit on go. And now we can display here lots of information for the supplier. And you can even click on this symbol here and then select even more information to be displayed. Okay, this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. Also make sure to subscribe to my Patreon, where we have a community chat and where I post lots of informative blog posts about SAP. The link is in the bio of my channel. Thanks a lot and see you next time.